Oh, my bad, my bad. Wrong movie. Wrong movie. I mean, Sorry. I mean, Sorry. I mean, oh, well. The hype is real still. <laughs> okay, so we did not go see Black Panther right now. We actually went to go watch... Tomb Raider? Oh, oh Tomb Raider. I'm sorry. Yeah. Tomb Raider, yes. I was Probably very excited. Black Panther again. It's A. I. Reviews. <laughs> and we're here to go over Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider? Another video game to big screen translation. Okay. Now, I digress and we'll scale back just a moment here. Um, <clears throat> let's go to the stereotypical game to big screen film translation. You have good story, you have good plot, great character design in the game. The game actually um, was received very well, did very well. You cast people who don't look anything really like the well, characters I mean, for the game. No, don't. Hate why she doesn't. Laura Croft is a is a large female, almost Amazonian like, and this this chick is tiny compared to everyone else except for the, uh, no offense to anybody, the small Asian man on the island that she gets lost on. Okay, um, and you kind of get into some some stereotypical tropey type kind of movie antics, right? Um, I'll I'll kind of give it over here to Ian at this point in time since he did play all the way through the game. Yeah. Uh, name what you thought the film did well. Um, not much, really. <laughs> ah, thank you. Thank you. I, it, it was okay. I mean, if you play the game, that's why you see it. That's why you see video game movies. And the problems with people like me that play the game, you're like, okay, like you said, you have a plot and everything else. They're like, yeah. Don't need that. Let's come up with something original. Where they start off following the game plot, and then they just decide to make a left somewhere. And just like, why make a left? Mm -hmm. Like, the game was good enough, that's why you made a movie. So why are you veering off from the source material? And it just basically turned into, like, a boring action movie. It's It wasn't amazing. Like, they had a few action scenes, but nothing like... Oh wow. So so I will say what I thought it it did well. <clears throat> there was a tomb and they attempted to raid it. <laughs> All right, okay. Oh, so man. so if you if you are a Tomb Raider fan cuz this is going to be a short review um so we can get into the spoiler part of it. But generally speaking, um from 1 to 5, 5 being the highest rating a film can get from the AI review crew, what would you give this film? Two? Hmm. A two. Yeah. So not even, what if you weren't a fan of the game? Like, you never played the game, you just saw Tomb Raider, like, oh, it looks like a, uh, wannabe Indiana Jones female type kind of version of the film. You might give it 2.5. Because okay. you've never seen it. So it's like you don't have anything to expect from nothing it. Nothing to base it off. Yeah, nothing to base it off. So it might actually go... From two to maybe a two point five, maybe a three, because you've never seen anything. But for me, I'm like, I I know what they should be doing, and it's like, why even call it Tomb Raider? Exactly. Okay, now we will switch it over to me again. Yeah. And um, I'm gonna have to co-sign. I'm gonna say anywhere between a two to a three star. The only reason why, the only reason why I could see anyone. Thinking that a three star fits on this, <laughs> if you have no background at all whatsoever, it's an okay action film. Uh, I think of more recent um, action films, I would actually even say the level of action in Jumanji was better than this. Oh, way better. So, um, if you haven't seen that, I would say check that out instead of this. Yeah. Um, even though I know it's been in theaters for quite some time. I think it's on video like in two weeks. Yes, and you're probably better off staying home watching that. Or seeing Black Panther. Um, to be honest, unless you're, even if you're, a, <laughs> even if you're a fan, yeah, definitely go watch Black Panther again. Uh, <laughs> even if you're a fan of the Tomb Raider series, um, game wise, you have to be a super diehard to, I guess, support this venture. Um, I, I just don't think it's worth watching it all this weekend. I would, I would actually rather go watch this for the third time, fourth time, a fifth four. time. I would actually watch Black Panther three more times this weekend. Then I would rather go watch Tomb Raider. 
It's not beating Black Panther this week in the box office. Definitely not. Definitely not. Fifth week in a row, yo. Kind of forever. Sixth, I think, would it be? No, it's the fifth. It'll be fifth, yeah. Fifth. Okay, so this is the part where we're going to get into spoilers to break down even more reasons why. This, this is where I massacre the This movie. movie was not good at all. <laughs> and you've been warned. Spoilers. Ain't Take really it away, Ian. Spoil. Ain't much to spoil in this game. In this movie, there really isn't much to spoil. It's predictable for the most part. There was a little twist when they actually found what was in the tomb, but even then, it was just like, come on. Man. From beginning to end, the plot is super finicky. Yeah. There's legit real no reason with the way this is set up. There's almost legit no reason for her to do what she's doing. No. Um, even if she's mad at her dad somehow for like leaving her behind, yeah. why she wouldn't accept the fortune that she's gonna inherit right. and Basically, she didn't do anything that she talked to her dad about, about going to, like, college or Oxford or anything else. She just went off and did, like, the most rebellious, like, loser child type kind of life is what she and chose. the first, like, 15 minutes of the movie didn't really matter because nope. it didn't really add anything. Her in that, that, in that, like, Muay Thai boxing place that didn't... I guess to establish that she knew how to fight. But then she got beat. Later on. And all she did was get beat. By a girl her own size. Yeah, and she got Which beat. Which somehow explains later on in the film how she can beat guys three times her size. Yeah. The girl beat the hell out of her. And then... <laughs> Doesn't explain anything. <laughs> and then the bike scene was pointless too. Because it didn't show any skills. There were five epic jumps in this film though. I count it. That's... Which actually weren't that epic. No, the only one was at the last one, which I was like, you're not making that. Oh, and, and conveniently, the side of the uh, tomb that she was on stayed at its height, while the other one slowly <laughs> sank down, <laughs> making it believable that she yeah. could jump across and she was just going down. Now, the simple fact that her pick, there's no way that pick would have carved into that uh, concrete like that. <laughs> and then, I mean, I've heard people tear into Black Panther CGI towards the end, you want to talk about terrible CGI? This company clearly did not care about how realistic the end of the film looked. They it just put her on a, green, on a green screen and she ran. And that was only for some of the scene. <laughs> the majority of that scene was CGI. It was... And somehow she survives under a pile of like huge rocks slash boulders. Which I thought was weird because like when it, it when it fell in and then it filled and they, up, they somehow perfectly fall on her in like a tent. Well, I don't know if they didn't fill. If they cut. Well, here's the thing: it would have covered the opening, but then she still was there dangling. I guess. Well, that's the thing. So she's on a string going up while all these rocks are falling down. Somehow doesn't get hit by any of them and ends up on top of the other ones that were collapsing and covered in like a tent body type kind of collapse. Well, well, she was already way up. Actually, what really would have happened was the first rocks would have fell and would have broken her rope, and then she would have fell and died. Exactly. Prior to that, though, they, <laughs> they do <laughs> they do a they do an okay job of like getting her banged up, like which is reminiscent of the game, right? Yeah. Um, and even that, she probably would have died from all of the different ways that she fell from impact alone. Well, the, the first uh-huh. one was like when she was like, okay, they're not really. Doing too much damage, and then when she hits the trees, I was like, <clears throat> "You should have broke like all your legs." Right. And there. they had that was like the smallest branch possible <laughs> that could have stabbed her out of all those it's huge like, trees. It's like right here. I'm okay. like it's like a small arrow, and she's just like, "Oh." I was like, man. I mean, they try to do a nod to the video game with her and the bow and arrow, and I'm like, "You miss a lot," and half of them weren't kill shots. So why are they not getting back up? Yep. Cause even the one dude that was with the dad, like she hits, he hits him on the, she hits him like on the side right here. He's like, oh. And he just goes down, and I'm like, what's him turning exactly. back around and just shooting her? It was a liver shot. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. Like um, some of these were kill shots. Well, like you were, we were talking earlier, right? The the her attempt at her first attempt at escape, um, where um, Daniel Wu, Daniel, shout out to Daniel Wu from <laughs> um, oh darn it, I'm gonna Badlands, Into the Badlands. Great show. He's much better on that than he was in this. Hey, he was taking extra check. Underused yeah. actor who actually knows martial arts did none of that in this film. He could have kicked the crap out of these dudes. Instead, he uses a shovel, hits the guy in the face, who happens to drop a machine gun, but his thought was, you know what? 
This keep shovel, using this shovel, yo. This shovel works really <laughs> this is good. my lucky shovel. I'm going to keep using this shovel <laughs> instead of picking up an automatic weapon and uh-huh. taking these guys out. Hey. Uncivilized, like they say in Black Panther. Right? And typical, typical <laughs> um, bad guy trope as well, right? Oh, every bad guy can't shoot except for the lead bad guy. And but he even, even his shoot. shots are selective. <laughs> he right? can shoot either. Like he shoots at Daniel Wu and hits him in the, like, in the upper, upper cool. shoulder. No, uh, arm. Yeah, the arm. Yeah, yeah, like that, upper yeah. like, arm shoulder. Which somehow he's in an arm. They patch him up? Yeah, they've been killing. Basically, dude was sick. You kill him, but then you shoot this guy. You're like, you try I, to escape, and you beat one of our guys up. So yeah. they patch you up. And and keep you around because maybe I don't know if it was to try to lower. <laughs> I'm gonna knock you out. Lower keep you back alive. in. I'm not no, because sure. he didn't even use that. I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't actually. There was no reason. To there's keep him legit alive. no reason to because this guy is very murderous and and you know doesn't seem to care about anybody. Yeah, so there's no uh, reason to keep that guy alive, and then you keep him alive for nothing. I'll tell you this: his performance in this film compared to like Django or something else, uh, Mr. Uh, Walton Goggins. Yeah. Uh, Nowhere near the same level. But, um, I mean, he didn't really... And too, not, not his fault. Probably not a great script in general. This didn't give him enough screen time to, like, build a villain. And him being a villain. Like, he pops up, like, has a weird conversation with Laura when she wakes up. And then he's, like, only person I talked to is back in the sat film. But I'm like, but he has, like, eight other people over here that speak English. He does an okay job as a, uh... Like, they make him a little menacing initially with his whole, yeah. like gunshot scene and then after That's that kind of you don't see him again like yeah. you don't really see you, him you don't see him in that you see him looking again. going like what's going on and then that's it and then yeah you don't really see it's him like another scene anymore. but other than that it's like yeah so again two to two to three stars at the very best yeah more than likely a two uh i don't see this doing well at the box office to be honest with you they might do decent for the first week if they make a sequel it's legit because they already put the money away for it and then it's like, and then the nod they have for like the sequel, and then like for Trinity still being around. Oh yeah. And then that's how like the whole issue with the sequel is. And I was like, I can see what you guys are going, but I'm like, you can't even be able to get to the second game like that because you're just so yeah all over the place. And then she gets the two guns, which she doesn't use in the game anymore. That was from the original games. Not back in the nineties. That's like back in the nineties. She used the two guns in the nineties. That was her. That was her go-to. Weapon. That was a go-to where she did the two guns and the. Pa, 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 pa. But now she's more bow and arrow, and so she would actually probably buy a better bow and arrow for the new one as opposed to two guns. But I guess. Yeah. That's the nod to the original ones. Like, hey, but you already saw it in the trailer, which is weird. You put they put that entire scene in the trailer instead of just making it like. Ha, ah, look, something's fun at the end of the movie. So the majority of the film, you're, you're thinking she's going to get guns at yeah. some point in time, but it's not until the very end, so. And it's like... But, but that's not how she does the game. In the game, you tend, she tends to use more bow and arrows, which makes sense that she has in the movie, bow and arrows doesn't go guns. It's just... It doesn't fit with anything that's going on. And then that's the problem with this movie. It's like you made it, but you didn't know why you wanted to make it. And, and she does everything that the dad doesn't want her to do and she she does everything that you shouldn't do as a well-off child yeah is to basically deny anything that your dad wanted for you anything that he talked about with you as a child <laughs> she just goes against i don't it doesn't really explain why she tries to be so rebellious against what his it's, original i still understand were. why she didn't have the stuff anyways because it's i mean she didn't need the sign i don't know what he has to make them legally dead but yeah. They said the police already considered him dead. So private investigators wouldn't take their money anymore. So the police already think she's considered him dead. So why do they need her? The like, gap yeah, maybe maybe things are different legally in um in London. To, to sign off, I understand I I that was a whole plot twist <laughs> of the part where her you know sneaking in the power of attorney. It definitely could have been better. We'll say that for Yeah, sure. but it was like, I mean, I don't, I've never seen that where like, oh, you know, my parents have money and I have zero access to it because they're not around. If anything, you would have thought that he probably would have already set up an account for her. Yeah. Unless for some reason she like gave that money away I mean, or the billion business, or something. The I, I business know. has still been running for seven years. So it's not like she couldn't have access to... What like I, again, on. like I said, maybe because it's another country. I know in the America there's statute of limitations. Usually falls at at the seven year mark, so 
but even that, I'm like, it's still the company's running, so it's not like any yeah. of the people at the company, we can't do anything because he's not here. Um, clearly, they're buying other companies and doing things for yep, seven years. Payroll's rolling. Uh, company buyouts are still going, apparently, because yeah. towards the end, they reveal all those the books and uh, on all the different companies they own. It's just silly. It's we, just a thin plot through We could go on and on and on about how bad this was. <laughs> but we won't. We won't. I mean... For you out there, you, you don't deserve to hear us talk about how bad this film is. People making video game movies, please stop changing the script. Stop changing the story. Yes. So I hear Uncharted is next. Please. If, if you're going to... Here's a word of advice. Word of advice. This, this is really easy, too. If you're going to do a video game film... You need to either, it needs to be a tie-in to the game, or it has to be a continuation of where the game left off. Or you completely take the game's plot. Yes. Those, I, are, the, those are the three ways that that would work. Not like Assassin's Creed, because that no. disappointed me so no. much. No. Or like that. Resident Evil. Oh, dear goodness, Resident Evil. Definitely not like Mario Brothers. Oh, Resident or Evil. Or Double Dragon. Too. No, dear goodness. None of those. Street Fighter. Street Fighter. Mortal, Mortal Kombat. Kombat. Which which I did have hope for at first, because it didn't seem too bad at the beginning. <laughs> and then you let me down. I mean, there's somehow, something. someone lets you make three of those movies. Resident Evil is on seven? Two, are they going to do... Never mind. Resident, right. well, I think they just nope. ended it with the last one. I think it was eight. I think they were finished... That's supposed to be finished, the final chapter. They, I think they finally finished with seven or eight movies but of Resident that Evil. That was really bad. It was so far from the video... I love the video game for Resident Evil, first of all. It's like one of my favorites. So the fact that the story is like... It's a whole other... Exactly. Video. That's a whole other video. As usual, <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe down below. If there's any movies that you uh, want us to review... Feel free to uh, drop a mention. Or if you want to just go in on video game movies. We can do that as well. We can do a whole series just on that alone. Yes. So, don't like I said, like I said, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Share out the video with share your friends. It. Share it all out. To everybody. And uh, we're out. Peace. Peace.